Hi guys, it's Chris at Colcom Crown, back at my cider desk with some more cider to try. And it's another one from Hex. We've done two from them so far in a series of tastings. We did the Keeve Jalanta Mill, 750ml bottle, and we did the Slap My Girdle, 500ml bottle. This is another Keeve cider from them, another single varietal. And you know, because it says massive letters on the label, that it's a Keeve cider. Single bridle. And you also know that it's Browns. Because look at that. Browns apple. Single varieties keyed cider. I love labels like that. No messed about. Bam. I've been looking forward to this. So Browns is a shop from, where is it from? Devon, near Totnes in Devon, I believe. Uh, from a nurseryman called Mr. Hill. From a town, a village called Staverton, I think near Totnes in Devon from late 18th, early 19th century, I believe. It's a sharp, but it has some characteristics of a, of a, of a, of a, of a, of a yeah. you get some tannin from it as well, I think, basically. And we had some in a blend recently with Kingston Black from Greg's Pit, which is flipping delicious, flipping delicious. So as a sharp, I'm expecting this to have some residual sugar because it's keeved, but the sharp to bring some acidity and sweet and sour is fab. So I'm expecting that to be really good. But let's not get our hopes up, because we're going to drink it in a second. First of all, let's read the back of the label. Handpicked, pressed and bottled by Hex Cider of Street, Somerset. The excellent vintage quality of browns produces a sharp, clean and fresh tasting juice. It means it has been planted extensively in orchards across the southwest over the last few decades. So there's loads of it around, because it's very reliable. This is 4.2%, love it, because, yeah, so many 8% signs and stuff. It's too much for a man of my age, too much. The other thing I recall is the last key uh, cider we had from Hex, the Yarns and Mill. It took me yonks to get the cork out, it took me ages. I think it was before I had my shoulder operation. So, bear with me, I'm going to start trying to get the cork out, because it might take some time, if the last cider is anything to go by. Can't see what I'm doing. Need to get the light and sorted out. Need to get back in the shed. Really do. This is not so good in the office. Oh, hang on. I thought, well, I did a better job of the wire this time. Is the cork going to fly out? One hopes not. No. Can I get the cork out? All right. Bear with me. I might be some time. Oh, there you go. Didn't fizz. Didn't fizz. Has it has it conditioned? Has it conditioned or not? I don't know. Have we got a still keep cider? I don't know. Let's pour it out and find out, shall we? There is a very, 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 very slight prickle to that. Which I don't mind. I don't mind, however. One would expect having a corked bottle with the cans in it like this, that it's going to be like fizzy, and it's not. But there was a little bit of prickle there. So I don't want to forget myself. Let's look at the colour first. Let's look at the colour first. It's a nice colour. It's, 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 um, what is that? It's gold, deep gold, bronzy. There's almost a pink of hint, a uh, 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 hink. A hint of pink in it from where I'm looking at. But yeah, the lighting's all over the place. It's mad though. Could just be imagine it. I've got a red guitar hanging on the wall just over there, so I could be just seeing the guitar through the through the glass. I don't know. Let's have a smell. We like the colour whatever. Nutty is the first thing that comes to mind. It's sort of nuttiness. Delicate nose, no like bold chat at town. There's a hint of like like sauteed, you know, apple and butter and sort of brown sugar in the background. But on top of that, I get sort of nuttiness. Yeah, there's a definite butter character to it, the buttery element in there. Diacetyl, there's butteriness, yeah, diacetyl. 
yeah buttery slightly nutty delicate let's taste it yeah so it's got acidity which i expect from browns got some acidity and browns is like mildly bitter sharp but in fact i've seen it classed as bitter sharp in some books but generally speaking as far as i'm concerned it qualifies as a, as a sharp um delicate minerality oh the acidity is building a bit sort of malic citric lemon character just on the back of the palate not really any hard tannin no leatheriness on this There is a very, 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 very slight prickle to this one. Really slight, really gentle. Um, doesn't taste like a classic keen, sharp, um, keen cider at all. Tastes like a lovely, juicy, rich apple juice as much as anything from a, from a dessert apple. But a really quality, you know, intense. Not like... Um, not something cheap, nasty, you know, um, concentrated sort of nonsense that you get most in most shops and outlets these days. Yeah, it's interesting. Having a keef cider that's produced, which is made from a sharp, which I don't think is something I've really had before, because I think acidity affects your ability to keeve ph certainly um i've been told this by various side makers james marsden for sure and in fact in an email said to me recently about the kingston black uh, the browns kingston but the browns kingston black which is a sharp bitty sharp blend i said to him is it keeves it no it's not because the ph was too low for keeving but somehow this has been keeved so maybe there wasn't it wasn't particularly acid maybe it was a hot year i don't know yeah it's totally different from any keep cider i've ever had and i think that's because it's made with a more acid varietal a sharp um so there's lot there's plenty of acidity there it's not, it's not aggressive it's not mouth puckering it's not volatile acidity. it's not acetic in any way shape or form it has a kind of malic slash lemon character to it um i want to have this with food i want to have it when it's scorching hot outside that's when i want to have it I like a little bit more um, uh, sparkle, just a hint. But the fact it's got a little bit of prickle still makes a difference. It still lifts it. And it's a really interesting thing to try because it's very different to any keep cider I've had that I can recall at all. I know that William Attex was really pleased with this. He really liked it. So yeah, there you go. An interesting keep cider from a traditional uh, cider maker in Somerset. Hex. This is a Brown's Apple single variety. And we like, we like. So guys, thank you for joining me at the Cider Desk. I hope you join me again. But until that time, cheers. <laughs>